So we got a car here with compound problems. Our check engine light codes are saying that the electronic load detector is malfunctioning. And the other problem has to do with the camshaft position sensor. That's not working either, which Honda calls a top dead center sensor. Now, the ELD is this little doohickey right over here, which I picked up at the salvage yard. But if you go to a store, the price could range anywhere from $30 to $50. So while I was at the salvage yard, I picked up three of them. So I'll start with the fuse box, replace the ELD, and then I'm going to go replace the TDC or camshaft position sensor. And the sensor looks like this. Now if you want to be on the side of caution, you can disconnect the battery, so let's do that. Alright, so we're going to replace the ELD now. So you got these little tabs here. You got to pinch them, and that pulls the cover off. So here's the ELD right in here, and it's bracketed in place. And you have to take these screws out in order to get to pull the bracket out. But behind the bracket is you got an electrical connection, so then you got to take this fuse box, lift it up, get behind it, and disconnect this point over here. So we remove these Phillips head screws. So these are two fuses. It's nice to have a magnetic tip Phillips head. Four screws. The fuse box is tabbed. There we go. Now we go behind it and we have this cover that has to be removed. And the ELD plug is right over here. Now the ELD comes up. There it is. So this replacement has a little yellow marker. So that should be oriented towards the passenger side wheel. So Don't get confused with this blank plug. It's the plug underneath it. Now just put the lid back on. So that should take care of the ELD malfunction code. The electronic load detector. The load detector is, do the car's computer manages the drawing of current from either the alternator or the battery. So there's synergy going on between the alternator and battery controlled by the powertrain control module. So when that ELD malfunctions, usually it'll overdrain current from your battery and then your battery dies out. That's the usual symptom. That should take care of the error code P1298. Now the other three codes that we got have to do with the top dead center sensors or sensor because it's a four-cylinder engine and to get to that sensor we have to take the upper timing belt cover off. Alright so to get the upper timing belt cover off this upper lip here on the valve cover sits over the timing belt cover so we have to take the valve cover off. Now once we break the seal the valve cover or gasket seal it's highly recommended that you replace the gasket. Now to get this off, you got to put a screwdriver in here. There. We don't have to detach coal packs. We could just pull them out. The reason why I don't like to detach them is sometimes these plastic tabs break off. And we have this one electrical tab. You can 
lift this off. And there's a bracket right over here that interferes with the cover. And these two hoses are held by this bracket. Now we can remove the upper timing belt cover. All right, let's remove this electrical connector boot. And then you have to pinch the electrical fitting off of the top dead center sensor, or basically the camshaft position sensor. So there's three bolts that secures the upper cover in place. Okay. supposed to be a third bolt over here and it's missing so I can't show you a video taking that bolt out but now the, this top cover is ready to come off so the sensor is on an angle like that so it's right over here do not let this bolt drop Make sure that this bolt doesn't drop out of the socket. Put a little piece of paper towel here to hold the bolt from dropping. Just take the remnants of the towel and just remove it. Now we don't have to worry about this bolt dropping into the lower timing belt cover. Okay, I got the thread started. Okay, it's torqued. I'm scraping off the residue RTV from before and then applying a new coat of RTV right in these corners. You don't put RTV in these corners, it's a weak point. Even at the factory they put some RTV in these corners. And now we're ready to put on the valve cover. If you crack the seal with the old gasket, it's always a good idea to replace the valve cover gasket. Just make sure it fits over each of the spark plug tubes, the tube seals. So you torque down these bolts from the middle out.
that. So we took it out for a test drive, put around 10 miles on it, highway, local driving, and everything's working. The check engine light hasn't reappeared, and the engine seems pretty lively. So, looks like the fix is good. And we're done.